Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 2-14-2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 62. And today we are working on, or I, I did the uh, number two. Um, here, uh, create a new function called operate that takes an operator and two numbers and then calls one of the above functions on the number. <clears throat> so I wrote out some pseudocode ahead of time. <clears throat> ahead of time, excuse me. And I have basically what they have, uh, create operate function, and then sub sub a I have params. I'm going to need I'm going to need to pass in some arguments of operator num1 num2, and then in b, sub b I have based on operator type, call appropriate base function and pass num1 and num2 to it, and sub a uh, try using switch statement instead of if since my expression is static which will be you know plus minus divide or multiply and that's what I did so I was able to incorporate all my pseudocode into real code which is pretty sweet and so we'll go over that now starting from the top <clears throat> I'm only going to show you that we're only going to go over the changes we're not going to rehash over the entire thing you can watch yesterday's video if you if you missed that one or, or didn't see it uh, where I went over the function adding the add and subtract multiply and divide functions but we had we added a additional prompt here temporarily again this is temporary code here in this block um, until we get buttons so we have let's see equals prompt it's going to take on prompt of what operator would what operator would you like to use and then there's plus minus uh, asterisk for multiplication and slash for division and that's going to take on C and then we go down here we're going to have and we have a declarator uh, variable called operator and it's going to take on C um, and that is just because I I wanted to use from here on out um, I could have used operator up here but it just made sense ABC and then I reason why I instantiated like this is because the rest of the code C I don't want to use C because sees bad code and it doesn't really make any sense and I want my value my va variable values and variable names to make logical sense so that it, the code flows better and I left the to do's in all these even though I'm starting to learn quickly that I probably won't be doing the to do but I'm gonna eventually clean it up I'm, I'm leaving it there for now so and then we add another console.log in here <clears throat> and it's uh, operator used operator is simply gonna report out what that uh, variable is for testing purposes uh, the operator what that value is excuse me and then these all stayed the same nothing changed with it and then you come down here oh I did have a to do yesterday that I I, I put an if else check in here for checking for division by zero so what it does is when divides called it goes and says if divided value divide value equals in type and string uh, uh, of, or value of infinity um, so if basically if it says infinity return alert alert on the screen error cannot divide by zero you should know better dot 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 <laughs> and that satisfies uh, actually the um, there's a little section down here that talks about display a snarky error message if the user tries to divide divide by zero don't let it crash your cal calculator so that's my snarky comment, <laughs> and then so it's going to return that, and it and if it does that, it's going to break out of that uh, if statement, and and it'll be done with the code because you can see there's nothing else to process here, and we're not returning anything um, out. There's nothing calling outside of this function, so it just stops. Else, if divide value does not equal infinity, return console log divide value. So we're going to return, we're going to, you know, console log and return uh, as usual. Uh, and again, we've got divide value out here. We talked about this yesterday. Um, it's counseled out right, or it's, sorry, not counseled out. It's commented out right now because we're not using it. I do, uh, I do know that it's eventually we're going to have return statements going back out. So um, I, I will be using that, just not right now, not in this current iteration because uh, we have no buttons and no DOM nothing like that yet so we are just using simple uh, prompts 
for data. And then here's the new part, use operator variables to determine which function to call. So I actually looked this one up because I've actually never used it before. I usually just go with an if then else uh, for this type of stuff because it made it usually just easier and faster and I have it memorized versus switch. But this time I felt like I felt like trying something different in my code and switch makes sense to me because most of the time when I do if if statements it only runs one time or I'm or or if there's an multiple ifs they're evaluating different things so switch doesn't work but this is one of those examples where switch works because you're if you remember from learning about switch your oper your uh, expression has to remain the same meaning that you're always evaluating one variable in this example so operator can take you know four different um, four different cases uh, plus minus multiply divide which that's fine but you you can only you know your expression can only be uh, evaluated one time basically in order to be able to use a switch which so that worked here so what it does is um, down here I'm jumping around a little bit on here we call the operator function and pass through the arguments from the prompts so this calls operate and it the operate function and it passes in operator num1 and num2 so if you go up here here we go again operator num1 num2 is passed in from the top which should be up here all the information that was gathered in this block and I'm putting up my call statement at the bottom um, just for cl cleanliness uh, because I trying to I'm trying to write linear code that makes sense as far as a logical flow so you always put your let your you know your command your, your your declarations and your inputs and stuff at the top and then you do your functions in the middle at least this is how I'm doing it and then at the end the very bottom is when you uh, start start your program in this instance we're calling operate to essentially start the start the calculator even though technically the calculator started up here with the prompts because um, I originally had it up here um, but I moved it all down and I'm putting the functions in the order in which I'm building them um, so again so we come up here and operate so we have switch operators so we're gonna evaluate operator the value of operator so if it's a plus if the value of operator is a plus we're gonna cancel that log uh, passing through switch plus <clears throat> And that's gonna then call the the add function and inputs num1 and num2 uh, just carries that on through to add and then it'll process as we uh, went over yesterday and then break statement after that which means that switch statement is going to break out of the switch so it doesn't keep going through because a switch there's only one truth so you want to break out because you don't want to test any of these others because they're not going to be true so it'll break out after that point and 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 basically stop because again here we're not actually um, we're not actually returning anything at this point um, other than printing stuff to the screen to the council so else uh, well not else but second case if operator is a minus we're gonna we're gonna say passing through switch minus just just so we know this is just logging verbosely so we know that it's which switch it's going through just for testing purposes I'll eventually delete all these council logs but and then we have that we're calling the subtract function and we're giving it num1 and num2 and then uh, we're breaking out of the switch uh, case 3 is multiplication same thing passing through switch multiplication and then calling multiply inputting arguments of num1 num2 break case if it's a division council log passing through switch division calling divide function adding in uh, arguments num1 num2 and break and then if none of those are the case so if operator is not a plus not a minus not a multiplication or division it's gonna default to here which is use the keyword default and it's going to alert error didn't receive an operator or type not as expected and I just put that in there that just basically means that for right now since we're asking the user to type in something if they typed in anything other than plus minus multiplication division we're gonna air it out and it'll 
break out of the switch and by default because that's what default does you don't need a break statement and it will just halt the program basically because there's nothing to return it's not going anywhere else it's not you know calling any other function so uh, all right so that is that so to see that in action we'll run through some tests okay so here's a uh, enter a number we'll just do ones just make it easy enter a second number one what would you like to do we're gonna add we're gonna do a plus for add and there you go <clears throat> num1 is 1 num2 is 1 operator used is plus and if you remember that's because we told we said we want to console log operator use at the very top just so we know that um, the code is working correctly and then there's there it is passing through switch plus and then it ends on the console log add to which is the um, on the add it, it was right here it boot console log the add value so it's doing the numerical um, additions operation putting that variable in the add value and then we're console logging that out like we talked about yesterday so basically the only difference is we're adding in that third prompt we're, we're um, printing to the screen to show that it went through the switch and then we're calling uh, the appropriate uh, function whether it's add subtract multiply divide and then we're counseling out the answer which so really the two new things is this and this and then the error checks so if we do one one minus you see that that works one one operator use minus passing through switch minus subtract zero so that, that worked out one one multiplication there you go multiply one operator use asterisk pass through switch asterisk okay and the last one 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 and divide there it is num one one num two one operator used divide passing through switch divide divide one so that works do our error check again okay we're going to enter one and we're going to do a divide by zero which should give us an error uh, and we're going to do divide. There it is. Num1 is 1. Num2 is 0. Operator uses division. Passing through switch division. And we get an error. So that logic works great. So what it does is it passes through the switch. So that means it got past that council log. So, <clears throat> so it's going down here. And it's doing the case uh, division passing through switch and it's calling divide num1 num2 which goes up to here and I realized this whole time I forgot to zoom it in so uh, sorry about that guys um, hopefully you're able to watch it on a computer because um, your phone will be pretty small to see that so anyway we go what we call the divide and so we um, we're doing that error check uh, it was infinity because we divided by zero so the return value was infinity and it gave us the error cannot divide by zero you should know better <clears throat> and if you click OK it see it just exits gracefully at this point it'll this again this is all gonna change but once we start introducing the buttons and stuff but this just works for now and then so to get that division to work well we've already done that that test so the other test we want to do is make sure our switch works so we should have an error if we put anything other than the operator any of the four operators so if we do one one and say we did question mark here instead of plus minus multiplication or division and there it is uh, num1 is one num2 is one operator use question mark um, so let's just print that out and then we get the error it says didn't receive an operator or type as expected and it gracefully exits so there's that um, I'll actually um, you guys can um, I don't know if you can zoom in very well on a YouTube video so I'm gonna leave this up for a minute and just scroll through it kinda slowly so you can see it uh, in case uh, in case uh, you are on a phone uh, in fact I'll just blow it up a little bit more um, or a small screen that you're having a hard time seeing it so 
Again, this is the additions. I'm going to highlight the additions. So we added that in. I won't go over it again because I'm not going to make this video too long, but just showing you. Uh, there's the addition for the operator instantiation. There's a console.log for the operator. <clears throat> these that, these uh, functions, these base functions did not change. We added in the error check here. And we either going to return an error or uh, alert as an error or we're going to return the console.log value. And then here is where we uh, introduce the switch to uh, evaluate whether we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, or if we're doing none of those, it's going to alert out an error at the bottom here. So that switch statement is pretty cool. Again, I like this. Uh, it's cleaner uh, than using the if statements, because that's what I would have normally done, just used a crap rack of if statements. Um, but this actually worked out really well. I didn't mean I just wrote it down on paper as pseudocode and just thought, well, if I can use switch, I, I'll try it because I've not used it yet in any of my exercises or any of my uh, homework. Um, so that worked out well. And I hope I get to keep it because I do like it. It's pretty slick. So um, what I mean by that is I hope I don't, you know, get further functionality as we move on in the in the uh, exercise and I'll have to get rid of it because it won't work so <laughs> because it is pretty restrictive like I said earlier you can only uh, evaluate one expression you can't change it change the expression it, it the expression itself has to remain static but the value inside of it could be dynamic and that's how you get your cases so as long as that doesn't change I don't see any reason why I have to change that and then down here we I moved my call operators. I deleted the all the other ones and then created the operate um, the operate function, which encases the switch. If I didn't say that earlier, so the function operate is the basically is the switch. And because the I normally probably wouldn't have made that its own function, but the text the requirements said to make a function called operate that calls your base functions. So. And that passes in the operator num1 and num2, and that's it. So that's it for this video um, and today's discussion. So um, hope you uh, enjoyed and come along the ride with me tonight and learn a little bit at the same time. Uh, please comment below uh, what your thoughts are on this exercise and how you're doing so far. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, see ya.